What are data pages in Pega? Data page loads data to the clipboard for system to use. System can access data from the data page on demand. On the first reference of a data page, in data transform, activity etc., data page will be created in clipboard and loads the data to use. Structure of the data page We can create a data page with two types either a single page, holds a single object or page, or list, page list, holds multiple objects or results or pages, type. First important thing in data page is, mode, if the data is readable, editable, or savable. We can create a data page in three modes. One read only, node, requester, and thread. Two editable, requester and thread. Three savable, requester and thread. Scope of data page in Pega defines in which context, the data is loading onto the clipboard, and data accessibility to the users. We can load a data page in three contexts, scopes. One node, read only. Two requester, read only, editable, savable. Three thread, read only, editable, savable. We need to understand data page scope in Pega. Node level data page in Pega. If a data page scope is defined as node, means whenever node is restarted, on the first reference of this data page, system will create a data page and loads in clipboard. All the requesters, who are currently in that node, can access the data from this node level data page. We can create a node level page in read only mode only, so that data is same for all the requesters, and cannot be modified or updated. Load authorization for node level pages. We need to define access group in load management tab of data page rule, and this will only appear for node level pages. When Pega needs to create a node level data page first time in the clipboard, and to load the data to the data page, it needs to run the sources like load activity, data transform, report definition or connector. To run these rules, system should have access to rule sets and versions. Data page rules rule set version and source rules rule set version should be visible to the system through access group. By this way, System is getting temporary, temporary access, access to the, to the rules, rules through access group. Pega will open access group, application, and see the rule set stack, to make sure rule set versions are there. Requester level data page in Pega. When a data page is loaded on requester scope, level, all the threads opened by this requester can use data from the data page. For example, from above picture. Requester 1 is having two threads means requester 1 open two work objects in two tabs. Pega creates two threads. We can see two threads in clipboard for each work. Object. Thread 1, work object 1, and thread 2, work object 2, can use the data from the clipboard. Let us see below example. User created two service request cases in Pega. S2002, S2003 and Pega created two threads in clipboard. Two work objects can use, D service request list data page which is in requester level. Simply, all threads for current requester 1 scope, all the work objects, can use the data from data page. If requester 2 is using the same data page on the same node, Data is accessible to the threads, work objects, which are opened by requester 2. Thread level data page in Pega. When a data page is loaded on thread scope, data is restricted to thread even though requester have multiple threads. For example, 1. Same data page in two threads but data might be different. Data will be populated onto the data page for each work object. 
we can go for thread level data page, where the data is unique to each work object, and do not want to share the data across multiple requesters. For example, to a CSR, customer service representative, is working on insurance application and can receive and handle a call from any customer anytime. Each time. When a CSR receives a call from the customer, he opens or creates a work object, which needs to fetch customer data from external system. Suppose in this case we have a data page D customer info. We need to have this data page as thread level because the customer information must be unique. CSR received a call from customer John, opens a work object, CS1, and fetched data from external system to thread level data page, D customer info. Next, CSR received a call from customer Mark, opens a work object, CS2, and fetches data from external system to thread level data page, D customer info. Both the work objects are opened by same requester, CSR, and PEGA creates two threads for two work objects, CS1 and CS2. If we go to the clipboard and see the data page, data might be different from CS1 to CS2, because PEGA populates data specific to the work object, thread. Read only data page in PEGA. When we set a data page mode as read only, it cannot be modified, and data page will be there in data pages in clipboard. We can set read only mode for all data page scopes, node, requester, and thread. Editable data page in PEGA. When we set a data page mode as editable, it can be modified, and data page will be there in user pages in clipboard where PyWork page is there. When it initially referenced, PEGA will create a data page with read-write access in user pages. Later we can edit the data page, and save to DB. For example, service request work object, S2004, is using editable data page. D complaint list, for complaint list. When it is referenced in work object process, PEGA creates it and puts in user pages in clipboard. Editable option is only available for thread and requester scope. We cannot define refresh strategy for editable data pages. Savable data page in PEGA. We need an activity to save data to database, but by using savable data page, we can save the data directly to the database without using an activity. PEGA provides a smart shape to save data during case processing. We can achieve this feature in different ways. One flow where we can use smart shape save data page smart shape. Two dot flow action post processing. Three by using save data page method in activity. Data page refresh strategy in PEGA. When it comes to refresh strategy, data pages with read-only mode can have refresh strategy. Both editable and savable data pages do not have refresh strategy. Reload once per interaction. If selected, system will refresh the data page once per user interaction, 1, and ignores 2 and 3 refresh strategies as illustrated in above picture. This option only available when the page scope is thread or requester. Do not reload when. This is optional, if we refer any when rule and if it evaluates to true, then PEGA will not refresh the data page. If it evaluates false, system refreshes the data page, once per user interaction. This option only available when the page scope is thread or requester. Reload if older than. To set the timer, when exactly the data page should be expired, and reloaded. Enter positive numbers in days, hours, minutes, and seconds. When system first loads the data page, timer will start from that point of time. Data page will only be refreshed, 
when it is accessed by other requester after expiration time, will be refreshed only once per user interaction. How to clear data page in Pega In data page, load management tab we can see a button clear data page once you click on this system will clear the data page if the data page is parameterized we have an option to delete all instances or only those with specific parameter values